Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Dennis Rodman, the former NBA star and longtime friend of Kim Jong-un who has visited North Korea several times, broke down in tears during a televised interview early Tuesday as President Trump and Kim held a historic meeting in a hotel on Singapore's Sentosa Island. In a dramatic interview with CNN's Chris Cuomo that quickly became emotionally charged, Rodman, wearing a red Make America Great Again hat, blasted former President Barack Obama for not taking the North Korean leader seriously. Five years ago, Rodman said, Kim told Rodman certain things to relay to Obama concerning potential negotiations, but the former president didn't even give me the time of day he just brushed me off, but that didn't deter me. Rodman, who admitted he was naive when he first visited the rogue regime, then started weeping and repeatedly dabbed away tears from his eyes as he recounted the blowback he received in the US for visiting Kim. When I went back home, I got so many death threats, Rodman said, visibly shaking and crying. And I believed in North Korea, and I couldn't even go home. I couldn't even go home, for 30 days. But I kept my head up. It was a sharp turn in an interview that started with Rodman offering some advice to Trump in the form of an anecdote about trust. President Trump should understand the fact that the reason the Marshal of North Korea Kim Jong-un respects Dennis Rodman is the fact that he trusts me, and I gave him something for his birthday and I thought I couldn't pull this off and I said the day before his birthday, I'm gonna give you a present. Rodman said he promised to bring a professional basketball team to North Korea, even though I knew I couldn't do it. But Rodman said he quickly realized that he needed to make good on his promise, or there would be a problem. After helping train North Korean basketball players and arranging to bring ex-NBA players to the country, according to Rodman, Kim approached him to say, Dennis, you know, this is the first time someone ever kept their word to me in this country.